What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple but strong build order with French. It's going to be the 5 Hussar Semi FF. So I'm just going to play a game against the AI uh, just so I can concentrate a little bit more on communicating what I'm doing and not focus so much on winning a game or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So I pick Fertile Crescent. It's a pretty standard map. There's TP. Um, which is important for French. You're going to go for a TP start. And I'm even going to not use hotkeys in this just to show that it is something you can do um, without needing to master anything about the game, really. So, ideally, you're going to start off spreading out your villagers on the crates. You're going to pick up any treasures around you. Start herding in your first uh, hunt. And you're going to head over to build a trade post. Again, I'm doing this without uh, hotkeys or control groups whatsoever, which I ne I have played with uh, both hotkeys and control groups for decades, honestly. So i um, giving myself quite a bit of a handicap here, but I guess that's kind of the point, is to just show what's how, how simple this is and how you can have a strong strategy um, without much practice, just really need the knowledge and kind of what you need to do and and uh kind of takes its takes itself uh to success a little bit from there so tp with the 200 wood that you start with then gather 100 wood for a house so i kind of sometimes don't want to take these treasures to show any uh deviation from the bill that you might have if you don't get treasures so i'm just gonna oh i accidentally used hotkey for idle villager there but that's okay Okay, so like I said, you gather 100 wood for a house. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna not get any treasures. Still scout a little bit. Um, that way, there's no like, oh well, how did you do this build? It's because you got a treasure, so we'll just avoid that altogether. So again, um, 100 wood for the house. You got the starting TP. Send your three CDB in. And just gathering pure food from the from hunt at this point because hunt is. A much faster gathering resource than berries in case you don't already know that so the goal here is to age up with a 14 population which is a standard age up time there are builds where you can age faster you can do like a 12 10 you can sometimes if you get good food treasures you can do uh, 13 villager age up or population age up but uh, the standard one is is 14 so once you do this stuff, uh, and if you're not gathering treasures, then there's really not much going on. Um, most of the most of the build is going to consist of transition into H2, but it is important to always look at your hunt and like that right there. Uh, they finished gathering a deer and then they shot and back herded um, the next the next deer. So. You can always hold down the alt key and that'll show hp bars on everything including i believe mines oh uh, no there are sometimes mines and trees have hp bars i believe but anyway so you want to yeah try to bring your herds in don't have uh have as little walking time as possible for your villagers so anyway so now we're up we're going up with 400 wood so at this point the goal is to get market upgrades again i'm playing a little bit um, inefficient compared to how I typically do without any control groups or hockey so should have uh, there's definitely a possibility to have less idle time there so we're gonna build a market here I don't even know where it is in the UI because I use uh, hockey so much <laughs> so frequently so we'll get placer mines first we can already start transferring villagers over to gold the goal in transition here is to get 125 wood oh looks like I need a little bit of food 125 wood after you queue up hunting dogs and place your mines so at this point I need 175 that way you can get steel traps immediately upon each up and of course you want to have the the food to queue up a CDB as well So now I have both those techs in queue. I only need 125, so we'll switch over right now. And now we're just trying to queue up a villager, make sure we don't have any idle time. These guys are still attacking uh, my scout. So not the best hurting here, but 
will make do with it. So as soon as hunting dog, and then four CDB is going to come right away. Put one or two villagers on wood. Steel traps is already in queue. So now, as soon as we can, we're going to, we'll start hurting this one in. But we'll get a stable going. And we'll get a house. And your distribution should be about 8 CDB on food, 5 or so on um, coin. Then as soon as we get the next shipment, we're going to queue up the uh, 700 wood. It's a very flexible build, uh, excuse me, card order. So if you are getting rushed or something like that, you can you have the flexibility of um, of making a barracks or two. Maybe if you want to go greedy, make a... A second trading post so we're just going to continue to herd over here so it's it's pretty important to get the five hus because in a lot of matchups it can oops it can uh, make a big difference like if you're going against germany you want to have make sure you have all five hus and we might be a little bit close on this one here to be honest Oh well, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're just fine. And maybe a little bit of idle time of TC, but again, this wasn't the most efficient herding and lack of hotkeys does play a part as well. So at this point, you can even do a faster straight FF. What I would consider is 4 CDB and 700 gold. That's a bit faster. But uh, this is a, a well-rounded card order here. So we'll just throw down a barracks just because we can in case we need some help while we're aging up. 700 golds on the way as well. Now you can see all this villager walking time that I have here. So that's why it's so important if I am using my hotkeys and control groups to look at the HP bars. The HP bars, yes, but also the food amount, which is shown here, if you hold down if you hold down Alt or you click on the deer, shows how much is remaining before they'll finish it and then likely shoot a a deer around them to push it away potentially. So that's one important thing to to focus on when you have a little bit extra time, just hurting in your hunts better. And the gold's in. We can send all of our CDB as long as we have 300 from uh, from the mine. Send them over. Start gathering that. Those crates to age up. Try to uh, get your villagers distributed better so they don't bump. And this should result in a pretty decent age up time. We'll age fast, of course. And we can even throw down a second barracks if we want to start making uh, skirmishers in transition. Or not in transition, but once we get up. Amalgamation is a good option for this build, too, because you have so much extra wood. So that helps you your, your uh, early on skirmisher production. You can skip. You don't have to go uh, 1K gold. You can save that maybe for an industrial age up. You'll have 50 population limit with the houses that you've got from the 700 wood of TP, two barracks, and a stable, and five hus, which you can be using to raid and, and distract your opponent. All those type of things. And you should be up to age three. I mean, honestly, this is a little bit late. But definitely before 8.30, that's a easy, easy target to hit. Could, could be significantly faster too. So yeah, guys, this is just a very simple build order. Just something that can get you in a good position. From here, you have so much flexibility. You can go with a thousand wood if you want to add a second stable or a second town center. You can uh, go a thousand coin if you want to really pump out uh, units or go to industrial. You can obviously go military and, and uh, force force your opponent to uh, put, force some pressure on your opponent. I should say, I don't know why I'm still microing my villagers here. This is uh, pretty much the point of the video. I'll just actually pause it to stop distracting myself. But um, yeah, from here you have so much, so many options. It's just a very good start to to the game for the first eight minutes of the game could put you in a good position you just got to work on um scouting your opponent making sure you're not getting rushed or something like that and you should be pretty safe and if they don't uh, pressure you you're going to be in a solid position so very simple build order it's a, it's basically a three card build order four cdb 
700 wood, 700 gold. And you're going to have infrastructure with multiple barracks, maybe multiple stables, depending on what you want to do. And you could even add a second trading post and go stagecoach for extra economy. So you can and you can even save the part of the 700 wood and gather a little bit for a second town center. So there's so much flexibility here and um, should uh, do you guys well for getting started in, in uh, multiplayer quick search and ranking up the ladder. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I'll uh, see you in the next one.